Hey guys, you know, at the end of a long day or week driving all over the known universe, I like to kick back on the deck with a cigar. And you know where I get my cigars? From Holtz. In fact, Holtz has been around since 1898, so they probably sold my grandfather's cigars too. They sold me cigars when I was in school in Philadelphia out of their store, and now I get the cigars out of their catalog and at Holtz.com. They're one of the oldest and most respected cigar retailers in the world with over 500 brands to choose from. The cigars arrive fast and fresh in this presentation ready box with a humidified bag inside so they're good and ready to smoke. They send you a cutter, which I can't find right now. They show up fast, they show up ready, and if you hit that link in the description, I'll give you a special discount on cigars, humidors, cutters, lighters, or anything at Holtz.com. Morning, everybody. Welcome to San Diego. This is this is it. This is the one. Welcome. This is the one. This is the 300 SL Gullwing. 1955. 55. Yep. This is Dieter of HG Motorsports. Howdy. Dieter is not only one of the most clutch players in the tuning game, after uh, showing up on zero notice with that GTR in our tuner competition, which that was I fun. publicly that was thanked fun. you for, that was fun. and then taking second place. But also, Dieter's family has a long history with the 300 SL Gullwing. Give me the, the short version of it. With yeah, so real quick, my grandfather was the first, or one of the first, uh, Gullwing mechanics sent to the U.S. by Mercedes-Benz. Uh, and he was actually at a Studebaker dealership, and we have an old photo uh, of him in the corner of a Studebaker dealership with the first Gullwing that came That's to Chicago. That's so cool. Was this his car? No, this was, th so it's kind of a funny story. He actually has had two Gullwings in his lifetime. And the reason is he found this car in Michigan when he was living in California and finally had the money to buy one in 1970 and, uh, and drove to Michigan with my grandma, bought the car and drove it home. Wow. And he gets home and the car that he wanted to buy, that he asked to buy for like five years the guy was like oh i'm ready to All sell of it a sudden now. oh and, he and so he's two? like well i can't say no so <laughs> we got two well i bet he got yeah. a good price back then yeah not so much anymore days. these no. are these are these are now seven figures for bit for the yeah red, for the right yeah ones. they're i mean it's anywhere between i've seen seven for 840 all the way to one six it yeah. just depends on the vin the motor the body the color etc cetera, etc cetera. so this one is uh silver over red so yeah, Popular silver color. over red, not original, hence why we like to drive it, because mm -hmm. uh, the motor has been replaced once before. I think somebody either blew the motor or you know something funny happened, so it's not the original motor, um, and it's not the original color. I think the interior is the original color, um, but it's been repainted, and we drive it. We've driven it to Monterey, to Monterey, and back three times. I'm super excited. And this is a real treat yeah, for me. I fun. mean, this is like, you know, this is, this is an icon. This yeah. is a real thing. Yeah one-time fastest car in the world in right. the 50s yeah. right is and i've actually done 120 in this car have you and it feels like you're going less than 100. let's have a go what's so, the starting okay, procedure so uh the key is real delicate because this stuff doesn't exist anymore right, right so okay. uh so the little baby key with just two fingers and you push in a squeeze and then just gently go right and then hold it in a little bit uh -huh. and then turn and then it should fire give it a little blip of throttle Let go of the throttle. Yeah. Wait, hang on. This guy's bothering oh, me. Oh, that's the Crowley. What's, What's up, up, Crowley? Cool, man. I like We're it. gonna go drive this Gullwing. Right. Excuse us. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. yeah. That's why I picked this one. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so probably because okay. it's warm, just try to like blip the throttle a little okay. bit to get it to kind of fire up. Don't, so wait, one click. So put, yeah, push in a little tiny bit. There you go. A little blip. And let that's it a blip. Let it start, huh? What'd you do? Nothing. Do? Nothing. Let go, let go, let go of the thing. Uh, Nothing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, try to give it a little squeeze of choke. So this is okay. the, the, this one's the choke. Okay. So see if you can, you know, give it the old baby clutch and clutch and choke and get it to fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. There, we've got it now. Let go of the clutch. There you go. Neutral. Yep. And we have idle. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, it gets a little toasty real quick. Really in this toasty. Car. Yeah. In here. These windows yeah. don't go down at all. This Negative. is it. This is this in is or out, not up or down. 
and wow. the the rubber. I hate to know how much the rubber is. Impossible to find. It doesn't uh, exist. I, well, I think the rubber now does exist, but I don't want to know how much it is. So we're not bothering to take the glass out because okay. I know like the windshields are probably like 4K, uh, and so I can only imagine this little guy is probably. Uh, who knows? Okay, I don't, I don't so know. this is a regular four-speed, right? Regular four-speed. Nothing speed? too weird about it. No. Just a four-speed. Uh, e-brake is bottom left by okay. your knee down there. Is it a ratchet? So, yep. Yep. Down okay, the there we there go. go. All right, starting. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't make it easy for myself. No, starting on, on a hill. hill yeah. Yeah. Oh, the view uh, out of this hood. I know. Oh my the God! It's got the quad. The quad there kind of hops on it. Strange, it like yeah. it pivots around this one little point. Yeah. The shifter and this and a GT4 uh, Porsche are my two favorite oh, well, shifters. I... Please, by all means, horses go girls first. on horses. <laughs> what the fuck? Welcome to Rancho Santa Fe. Uh, there's cars, there's dude. Horses. What does the insurance policy look like if, if I crash horse? your going into a horse? I, I'll have to call Gooding and call oh, or no, God, Haggerty, Haggerty, Haggerty. <laughs> Well, it looked you like they were going that way, and then the horse decided it wanted to come check the car out. You were saying about a shifter? <laughs> <laughs> what? So yeah, I think this shifter and the GT4 Porsche are two of my favorite shifters ever made. Whoa, uh, dude, so this experience is wild. I mean, giant wheel. Giant wheel. Yeah, yeah. Gnome on center, but once it catches, once you load it, yeah, it not it, bad. It works pretty good, yeah. Yeah. And the view out of this windshield, that, yeah. this is just fantastic. And you got the cool mirror on the fender. So what a treat. Wanted to look behind you if you really wanted to, but yeah. Was this 200 horsepower? Uh, I think a little. Yeah, it was a little, a little more, more, 250, like 220, yeah. something like that, 220. Yeah. So it's an inline engine, but it's camped it's, over yeah, on the leaning. side, Yeah, right? so the intake and exhaust come out on the same side. So the intake and exhaust are both coming out of the top side of the engine. So pretty cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it synchronized gearbox? No idea. Yes, it is. Yeah. I can flip it yeah. normally to downshift. Yeah. Wow, what a lovely thing. The brake pedal is very tight. Yeah. Dro four wheel drums, disc? Uh, they? Disc. No, disc. This is drums. This is drums. So a lot of guys, I think in the later cars, so they would have been like 60s, like late 60s. They came with discs, but a lot of guys actually like the drums better. So there's a tight right here. Titans? Yep. You know, once you load up the steering, really not bad at yeah. all, it, actually. It steers pretty good. It does. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty surprising. I mean, when you think back, this is a 1955, and no, for how well this car does now compared to some other new cars that don't even do this well. It's so tight. There's like, wow, that one series getting yeah. at it. Yeah. Um, it's, there's no rattles or squeaks. It's very, very tight. Yeah. I mean, you're in a cocoon of, of speed and, and engineering. Right? This is this great. Is, I can imagine this, this must have been. There oh, boy. Yeah. Sorry about that. There you go. This must have that. been a missile back in the yeah. day. Can you imagine? And I didn't get this road right. at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not whipping. I don't know the road. Wait, do I go left? Here, uh, right? No, I just keep going right. straight okay, and then we make cool. a U, yeah. Just veer right. Yeah, I mean this car, like especially the tight stuff, it doesn't really like. But uh -huh. if you get like long sweepers, like the one like going up to Monterey, like in the yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah in the wall, I mean like those long corners where you can just stay in the power and just one, like you said, once you set it and just roll into the power, it just it wants to turn. You know what I mean? And especially at high, it's real stable at high speed. Uh, like I said, I've done 120, and you you wouldn't think you're going 120. You think you're going 80 or 90. It's so comfortable. Yeah. I was, you know, I always look at these cars and I go, I'm 6'3 and I'm fat. There's no way I'm going to fit in that car. Yeah, once you're in, it's not And then too here bad. I am, and it's yeah. so not bad. Yeah. Same thing with the GT40s. Yeah. Go right there. So if you want, I would just uh, flip around. Yeah, I mean, just I would just stay on that road. It's probably okay. best. So just, just loop around. You yeah. How's the turning radius of the Gullwing? Not bad. Not bad. No power steering, no. so some effort required, but not bad. Okay, back around we go. 
this is delightful. I mean, this is really. Well, it's a good old time. We're you know, motoring. I sit here and relax. Yeah, and I no, this is motoring. like you start to think like what someone in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s like once they really got the hang of this car on roads like this, or even in you know Arizona, Northern California, uh, the East Coast. You know I what's mean, interesting is you think about this car as like oh it must have been so baller back then. It's actually more baller now. Yeah. <laughs> it's more yeah, because what was it? Brand new, these things this were like 13 SL. We have yeah. SLs now. They're yeah. not that impressive. No. This, is way, no. this is way better. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's got a lot of mechanical grip. You know what I mean? It's got that tube chassis. Um, I think we do have newer shocks on this car uh, that we put in about a year or two ago, oh. or maybe three by now. Um, so Where do you get like, a shock for this? Uh, so Classic Center has a lot of old parts for really? it. Yeah, they're right up in Orange County. Uh, so they do a lot of really good work. There's that real tight downhill right, a little bit of dirt thanks to the construction zone on the right. Yes! I'm it's getting it. I'm, sound. I dude, mean, I'm really starting to vibe with yeah. this car. But this the shit, is how sweet is shit? It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's just, very direct. It reminds me, you're not going to like this, it reminds me of a Beetle a little bit actually. Yeah. Like yeah. a better version of yeah. a Beetle ship. I mean, that's that era. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you look at the car, you you could see a lot of other cars that came from that same era. I mean, look at a Porsche 911 with that. I mean, it's all conceptually very similar, right? It sounds so good. Yeah. And these these old, I drove, this is not the first 50s Mercedes I've ever driven. I drove a, like an old SL, like a 190 SL. Actually, I guess the 190 SL. Yeah, yeah, so that's the so after it was the, this. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the um, and this would it's be my the least oldest favorite one. car we have. But smooth. Yeah. Buttery smooth. Well, you're going so slow that anything is smooth at that speed. It's like 80 horsepower, maybe? Yeah. Why are they 220 grand now? Where did that come like, from? God only knows. Yeah, the sound of this thing is. That's it's, just yeah. the best. You know, you like blip it. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> That's a satisfying blip. Watch man. out for this guy. Oh, guy with a dog. Local? Yep. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, sir, for letting us use your road for a moment. Thank you. We appreciate it. And your dog. Yep. Please don't eat us. This is like, I yeah. feel like you get away with anything in this car. Who's going to pull you over in this? Nearly, yeah. Who's going to yeah. stop you? Uh, I haven't been pulled over. I actually haven't been pulled over in this car yet. So, this yeah. is amazing. So this, actually, is, this is your Pebble Beach ride. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. And that's why we don't mind driving to Pebble Beach. You know, last year we went up there and we, we actually got the funniest thing in the world. So we went with the Gold Rush fuel run. We get to a stop sign. Ben Chen is in his Bugatti on one side. I'm on this side. A black Gullwing pulls up facing us and some 1920s like the Rolls Royce or something comes at the other side and the four of us just stop and everybody there's got to be 200 people sitting at the stop sign and everybody like, stops uh... and looks and no it's like a like a you know like a gun match like who's gonna go first and the Goldman guy and I started to roll by first and we slowed down in the middle and like went through the window I'm like hey pull over over here let's chat for a minute you know what I mean and uh, and we pulled over and just just kind of had a chat and uh, and he lived there and he's like oh, I wouldn't drive it that far you're crazy and I was like yeah just drive it what an unbelievable car this yeah. is that it's is the, so cool man the beauty of good engineering it's, really it's is. good for a lifetime it's so it it feels like it's engineered for a lifetime yeah. that's crazy yeah. Dieter no HG worries. Motorsports uh, HG Performance yeah. HG Service, service. Yeah, the whole, yeah. if you have a Mercedes in the HG San Trackside coming soon trackside track support yeah awesome if you've got a Mercedes a BMW yeah. Porsche yeah. GTR uh, GTR in the San yeah. Diego area um, these guys have you covered absolutely they're a lot of, they're, a lot of they're great cars. and um, this was this yeah, was, was some, this was yeah. something. Thank yeah. you for no go to his website. So he's like, yeah, it was worth it to let Farah have a go. When, in get the, the, when you get the Roadster back, uh, you'll like yeah, the Roadster yeah, yeah. because it's more no, emotional. I look, I, this 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 is right here. This yeah. is what it's about. The door, you just give it a little pop. And we just, let's just have a quick roll. Just yeah, doors yeah. up. Doors, so we actually like I've this driven it nice. a few times, especially through Monterey. I just yeah. drive the doors open. Like this when you're in the village, why roll with the doors closed? We just roll the I doors. I did it open. with my DeLorean too. Yeah. There's no yeah. air conditioning. You just the only trick is like right at a certain speed, arrow hits in, and, then <laughs> and they just, the door comes down. And then you lose these rubber these, things. These, so wait, yeah. we need to show the rubber things. And you I'm can gonna, see, I'm literally going to take this camera off because look, there you go. yeah, because Dieter is going to show us the show us the rubber so thing. These little rubber guys here on the door. As you can see, this is the newer one. So, and the older ones on that side, you can see those are a little flatter. Uh, and so these two we've replaced because they fell out. The problem is we only have four left and we don't know wherever we can get any more ever again. Like four, period. Like, that's, that's it. it. That's the only one of the ones that we know that of. That right there could total out at 300 SL. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, we've got no more rubber, so we're out. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. See you no later. Worries. Peace Thanks. out.